Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Serrano, and if you're new to the crew, subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the LG G8X Thin Q. Now, this phone is last year's flagship from LG. However, LG has come up with other devices to replace the LG G8 line wing, the velvet, um things like that but this phone still after a year is really solid and i just wanted to give you guys my overall experience overall really snappy it has the 855 um processing chip from last year really solid speed on this one uh the seven nanometer processing chip is really snappy anything you throw with this thing is really quick g8 x thing q is running on Android 9, upgradable to Android 10 as well. Gorilla Glass on the front, Gorilla Glass, uh, Gorilla Glass 6 on the front, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back as well. This device is really impressive because it's going to offer you a, uh, a, a, a double screen, which we'll get into later in the video, but that screen will drain the battery a little bit more than when the phone doesn't have it on 64 6.4 inch display which is really nice it's a 1080 by 2340 display so it's not going to be that qhd display that people were used to seeing but you do get a 403 pixels per inch on here always on display as well six gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of, of internal um storage now one of the things that's really cool is you do get a 32 megapixel on the front which records in th uh, 4k 30 on the back you do also get a 12 me megapixel wide that does record in 4k 60 along with the 13 megapixel ultra wide camera so it's really cool you're also getting um audio which is tuned by meridian audio really crispy audio in here we're also getting that quad DAC as well wireless charging on this phone so it's really impressive has a lot of features uh quick charge 4.0 uh fast charge um you know 21 watts fast charging on here nine watts for wireless so you can get this device on ebay with the dual display for about a 500 dollar price point if you look well this thing is really good for multitasking, which I want to get into. One, one of my favorite things that I like about this device is snapping on this case and opening up. Um, what I like to do is turn on the dual display right here and it says you can use it. And what happens is you can actually enter, you know, like your, your what I like to do is read books on here with the dual display. So I'll, I'll open Kindle right here on my main screen and then i have this cool thing on here where you can actually enter wide mode through any app and i'll probably get into that in another video but what i really like to do is read books on here and you could either read them this way and you could it looks just like a book or you could flip it to this screen and when you do that it's going to give you this display and you could do like a continuation by just scrolling or you could just read the pages here and the gap in between all the text is readable around that, so it doesn't interfere. That's some one of my favorite things I like to do. And another thing that I like to do is open up Chrome, right? Because when you open up Chrome, it gives you access to not only um, apps that you normally would use, but for instance, I use Instagram on here uh, on the Chrome app. And for one reason I do that, is because you could use it on horizontal or landscape on any screen. So when you're using Instagram on, on the Chrome app, it's really nice. Uh, you can open up the Instagram app on the other side as well. So that's kind of cool, but uh, I find that that's pretty cool. And then I also do like to actually just expand that thing right here with the wide mode that they do offer. I find that just really, really, really go cool to play around with. Browse your, your media on that mode. And another thing that I do like to do is open up my favorite 
app of choice when it comes to watching content. And right here they have a uh, season one of this, this anime that I was just watching be on this side and you could and, and then you could actually uh, open up something else on the other side and I think it's pretty cool because you're able to multitask in a big way like you could watch YouTube here and, and get all your stuff done on one side on the other on the other screen really nice really easy to use um, I'm getting about a, uh, a day and a half of battery with the case off but with the case on I'm about getting about a day and I do use this device a lot, so I try to keep that display closed because with the dual, even with the case on it, the standby time isn't the best in the world because if you put the case on and leave it overnight, it will slip, uh, it will take about 20% off from when you went to sleep. So it'll drain about 20% overnight, about eight hours. So you probably just wanna use the case at certain times. I do did order like another case for when I don't have the dual display on here, but it's just been a really nice experience. I'm able to watch a ton of movies on here, multitask as well, and get a variety of different content on these displays. Also the wide and ultra wide camera are really great. They're really stable. The cameras are really nice as well. AI camera on here, manual mode on the video um, camera on here, which is really, really nice for getting a ton of YouTube, um, you know, footage, B-roll, things of that nature. So, you know, this thing is a really good phone to use still. And but this is my experience of using it after about three, two week, two to three weeks. And one of the other things that I really do enjoy is putting a game on this, this display and using it in this way. So you could put the game on the top display and you could put the controls on the bottom display and then you can pretty much play this thing just like an old school uh, handset, like a, like a Nintendo handset. So it's really cool. Also, also this snap is just addicting. It never gets old. That That's really cool. I just really have a good time when I, whenever I'm done with a phone call, it's nice. You also do get a completely flexible, uh, case so when you when you could put the, the case on the back of the phone like this so it completely flexes around the phone which is cool and in this mode you will save a little bit of battery but it still drains when it's in the case anyway just because it's attached to the type c you could also turn off this display to save you know some some battery as well and then just use it like a book you can enter like multitasking on the bottom and then have something at the top like a movie and then be multitasking two different things on the bottom this leather on the back of here is really nice i would kind of wish that you could use this front display more however it's it works really well as a mirror so it gets a ton of fingerprints on it but they come off really easy and it's literally a mirror on here. So it comes in handy when you're out and about. If you're like a, a, a woman, you want to check your, on your, your, your facial, your eyebrows or your eyelashes or something like this is the LG G8 X thing Q in display fingerprint sensor as well, which actually works pretty good. Even when a case on there with the tempered glass thing, and I'll put up a video of my unboxing of that case right after this one. But I'll see you guys next time. But overall, hopefully got, hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and be safe. Later, crew.